say about beavers is that they mitigate both flood and drought. And I mean, that's the sort of, initially it sounds like a bit of an oxymoron, but actually they're both the same thing because by holding water steady, they, because they're constantly repairing their dams. And so that's why they are slowing the flow in times of heavy rain by creating these sort of road bumps and by dispersing water laterally into the land through all these little runoffs, which you can see. And um, on the other hand, they're holding it steady in times of drought. So it sort of is, but they're both the same thing. And of course, with climate change and the chaos of climate change, these periods of terrible drought and periods of torrential rain, an animal that does that is a kind of miracle. It really is. We, we, we so desperately need more beavers that they provide us with these absolutely astonishing so-called ecosystem services, which um, at a time of this very, very alarming climate emergency, we, we, need, we need what beavers do so badly and we just have to work out where we can have them and how we can, how we can donate a little bit more land here and there on the water's edge to the beaver so that the beaver can give back to us in this wonderful way. Another wonderful feature of beavers is that their dams can purify the water that flows through them. And very often you'll have a, like a flight of maybe 10 or 15 dams in, a, in an area like this. And so by the time you, the water that goes in at the top, if it's somewhat polluted, can come out at the bottom absolutely pure, which is rather an amazing thing. So there are various ways in which water can get polluted, but one very common way is from agricultural runoff from the nitrates and phosphates that are put on the fields. And if there's slightly too much goes on, it's hard to calculate the exactly right amount. Um, the, the surplus flows into the ditches and the ditches flow into the waterways and the waterways flow into the rivers, which, you know, are, for example, important salmon runs like the Tay. And these, these can cause, they can cause algal blooms out to sea as well. And so there's really a lot of problems caused by these sort of things. So the beavers, you know, just for nothing actually, provide this incredible service of purification. So the water flowing through the dam passes over what are called bioslimes on the wet wood and a chemical reaction occurs which neutralizes or locks up the toxic, the toxins that are the source of trouble. You know, another incredible feature of beavers.